Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. I'm Maria Pashardavis and joining me is Senior Investment Analyst Rafi Boyajian. We'll be discussing the latest jobs report out on Friday and the outlook for the U.S. dollar. So Rafi, we've got the all-important non-farm payrolls report coming up. Are we expecting disappointing numbers and if so, will this matter much? Well, Maria, job scores had already been slowing in recent months and uh, with those uh, extra uh, virus restrictions in December, because, of course, it's not just uh, in Europe that we've been seeing a virus resurgence. In the U.S., there's also been an escalation in the virus. So uh, it's pretty certain that uh, job growth slowed further in the month of December. Non-farm payrolls are expected to have risen by just 100,000. But the thing is, you know, now that we have that stimulus bill finally approved uh, in uh, Congress, expectations are that 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 should significantly boost growth in the coming months. And on top of that, of course, the Fed did uh, change its forward guidance in December. They did signal that uh, they you know, they basically pledged uh, to keep uh, policy uh, as it is for the foreseeable future and it's until there's substantial progress uh, in the economy. Uh, so uh, with all those two uh, things cleared out, uh, even if we do see a bad jobs report in December, we're un- unlikely to see a huge market reaction. Okay, now, although there is hope that mass vaccination programs will begin to ease the economic hardship, is there anything we should look out for that could hurt risk appetite and boost the safe haven dollar? Well, so far, risk appetite has been fairly resilient uh, to a number of setbacks. We didn't see a huge reaction to the delay in the stimulus bill, uh, to doubts about whether there's going to be a Brexit deal, and of course, the the virus resurgence. Because all along, uh, pretty much since November, when we had that initial vaccine announcement from Pfizer, uh, there's been hopes that, uh, well, all hopes have been pinned on those vaccine rollouts bringing an end uh, to the pandemic. So with positive risk sentiment, we should continue to see a weaker dollar. But of course, uh, we do have some uncertainty, political uncertainty as to how things are going to shape up uh, on Capitol Hill when with the new incoming uh, Biden administration and whether or not potentially we might see inflation picking up over the coming months. Now, the Fed has signaled that it's willing to tolerate higher inflation. But what if uh, inflation uh, turns out to be the biggest surprise of 2021 uh, and forces the Fed's hands? So there are potential upsets that could push the dollar higher. But on the whole, the outlook uh, is quite bearish at the moment. Rafi, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us at XM.com.